This is what we do. We stand by people that need us. And if not us, who's going to do it? You can't catch a gunshot wound from treating one. And whereas with this situation, people are coming in very sick and very contagious. And we have a very high risk of getting this disease. Um, we're at a higher risk than anybody else. I have two young children they are eight and five. So I've uh, actually made arrangements to live in a tent in my backyard and waiting for it to arrive. Um, but otherwise I kind of keep myself tucked away in my bedroom. It's really difficult. They want to see me when I get home. They want to see me before I go and everything in between. And, and I can't get too close to them for fear of, you know, if I happen to be sick and not know it, or if I have, you know, any sort of virus on something that I may have brought home, I don't want to expose them to anything. As a nurse, you know, my kids are my joy. They're my best part of my life. And this is a tough job to do. And, and in the past, you know, I come home and I just kind of lose myself and my kids and enjoy them as a way to cope with the day to day. And not having that is definitely stressful. I miss them a lot and I know they miss me too. And my husband definitely misses my ability to help around the house. I'm supposed to have this week off and I decided to work this week. I don't want to leave my coworkers behind. I feel like if my family members were struggling or my close friends were struggling, I would want to be there for them. And it's a similar feeling. Our department and our hospital healthcare in general, we're all in this together. It's amazing what can be done when we can organize and be mindful and come together um, to bring about a greater good for our workforce. Just how appreciative uh, we are that we've had the support of the community and our union. Um, things were a little tense in the beginning of all of this with DHS and getting what we felt that we needed. and. Everyone came to our rescue pretty quickly and has been behind us 100% and really fighting for what we need. And hopefully we'll all continue to fight the good fight and get through it safely and keep our staff safe and our patients safe.